Okay, let's go over a few items you'll need to go snorkeling. Starting with the obvious, you'll need a snorkel and a mask. Make sure you adjust the mask to fit you before you jump in. I like to use anti-fog in my mask. It helps keep it clear so you can see better. I wear a wetsuit to keep me warm. And as a bonus, it provides a little bit of flotation. You don't need a wetsuit. True, not everyone needs a wetsuit. You can wear a rash guard or not. Whatever's most comfortable. Let's talk about fins. I recommend a simple and flexible pair that's easy on and easy off. And I recommend having everything in a bag so you can keep it all organized. Lastly, you can bring a camera. Of course, make sure it's an underwater camera. And remember to bring more than one battery. She's actually right. Okay, can I tell them about springs now? Do I you? All right, here's a few things you need to know about springs. The term spring boil is used to describe the upwelling of water, or boil, that is created by the water rushing out of the spring vent. That leads us to the next term, spring vent. This is the hole or opening where water is being forced out of the aquifer. The vent has the highest concentration of water force, and if you ever swim near one, you'll feel it. And a cave is a natural opening or passage, large enough to be explored. By cave certified divers only. You forgot that Florida has over 1,000 springs. I was getting to that. Let me finish. Yes, there are about 1,000 known springs in Florida, ranging in size from very small to what's called first magnitude springs, which are basically the biggest springs that pump up the most water. So the Itchitechni springs are considered a first magnitude spring system. 